I think there's enormous wonder in the state of being lost. The alertness we feel allows us to see things for the first time or see things with new eyes. For the collaborative project with BMW South Africa, The Love Letter was a work that I had worked on at the start of my master's uh, degree process. And it was an outpouring of love and gratitude for the opportunity to be able to be making this work. When BMW chose The Love Letter, I thought a lot about how I would translate something that is a work on paper, that was ink that was poured, how I would translate it onto a wall, onto a large area, and how I would retain the integrity of the pouring, because for me it was an art pouring, and that was the, the key to the letter. The Love Letter for Lost Travelers is a seven meter by 27 meter piece over two stories and onto two floor surfaces. And what materials I used was polyurethane foam. I was also given foam by BMW South Africa that is used inside the motor vehicles to absorb sound. And um, that foam I then poured, I then covered it with etching primer used on vehicles and the very same paint we I used for the crumple um, to, to paint the polyurethane art pourings and to also paint the wall and the floor of the, of the building. So the letter doesn't have writing on it. It's a visual language of love, but hopefully it evokes emotion, it evokes that sense of the intimacy that a love letter may be. Creating an artwork for me is like very similar to the process of parenting a child. Uh, it starts with a baby that needs a lot of attention and as the work grows, as the work is being made, um, the nature of the work also changes. So it needs more attention, it goes through these phases of of being out of balance, of being hormonal, of being throwing a tantrum. But eventually, hopefully, the work individuates and is able to stand on its own two feet. <laughs>